spelling mistakes a lot, right? On double, do you use a double letter or not? And if if there was like like if it was M, I am possible, you know, well you know that the M is there and the P is there because you hear them both. But if it's like illegal, and if you know that, okay, the L from ill, you have to keep that, sub, that prefix together. Does that make sense? You're not just going to drop that. So ill, legal. So that's why you know you have LL or RR and irregular. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, so M is to go in. So if we impress, we push in, and I just sort of got off the track. <laughs> what if we depress, if you deep, or if we express something? What if you express yourself? Out. You're going to express and let it out. You're going to push your feelings out. What if I re, what if, if Lisa, I'm going to repress you. I'm going to push you back. What if I push you back and push you back, repress? Or what if you repress your feelings? You keep pushing them down, pushing down your feelings, then you might get depressed. I mean, that's just, I'm just thinking, depressed, the DE means down. And you push yourself down. Depressed means, so again, if we have depressed, can we do that with your chunks? Depressed, and then you, you cross your arms, you're pushed down. Your feelings, your emotions are pushed down when you're depressed. And it's maybe because you repressed your feelings. I, you know, I mean, I'm just getting carried away, but... It, <laughs> you're not being a psychologist. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. But, but it's a, the more that you can make the words real, does it make sense to you that the more the words are real, it's, that's yeah. what this is all about. Um, very kinesthetic thing. Yeah. Almost touching the words. Yes. I want you to have a personal relationship with these words, and that's what's going to make it all work. And tractor, okay, tractor, what is tract? Okay, that's a, we know that's a Latin root because if it has a CT at the end, it's always Latin. Okay, that's a cool thing to know. Or if it has a PT, like in rupt, which means to break, disrupt, is always Latin. If it has PT at the end or CT, you, discovering that, that word detective book will teach you all that. Um, so what if, if we have tractor, what does a tractor do? What about one of y'all's students? What's a tractor do? Pull. Pull, yeah, it pulls. So that's what tractor means. Tract means pull. So can you pull? Can you do it for me? Pull. Tell me tract. So if we put an O-R at the end, tractor, it's the thing that does the pulling. And a contract, we said con means with or together. So if you sign a contract, can everybody sign a contract with me. So we're agreeing to pull together, kind of. You, that's what you're agreeing on a contract. Do you think? Yeah. You're gonna pull together. What about who's ever had a baby and had contractions? Did all your muscles pull together? They pull together. That's what a contraction is. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And if you distract, dis means down. Like, is it nice to, to diss somebody, Hope? No, because dis means down. And it's no, and does down start with the same letter, D? Ta-da, it's because they both mean down. Down means down, right? Dis means down. D means down. They all start with a D, and that's no accident. It's because they're all working off the same root. What does move start with? And what are some an M? And what are some words that have that root of the M O from move? Motion. Yeah. What else? Uh, tell me. Oh, okay. And like motor, mobile. Yeah, mobile. So these things have to do with moving, and it's just cool. This I think is cool. I'm, but I'm not. I guess this is right. I just sort of made it up, but. But I think it's right. The more you think about this, you become obsessed. But like, think of, <laughs> like C-O-M, which means, can you show me with or together? C-O-M. What about, did they just put an E on the end of that? And what's our word? Uh-huh. And is that with or together? Uh-huh. So I kind of figure that's how that word happened. I mean, it seems pretty obvious when you think about it. I haven't really read that anywhere. Um, Okay, we already did that. Oh, yeah, this was a quote from classicreference.com. And so that's where I read a bunch of cool stuff this weekend. Seize each new word as if it was a shining toy. 
the more words you read, the more words you will know. Somehow, I like that quote. Then a few of my favorite books, I've just written them here, but on my website, hedyjohnson.com, there are a lot of books that I really like. That, um, but this one at the bottom, Word Detective, Discovering the History of the English Language, is really good and really fun. And I just know I brought it. Oh, yeah, here it is. And it's like $25 or something. It's, and it is just wonderful. And it'll just take you step by step learning what are the clues to let you know it's English, Old English. What are the clues that let you know it's Latin? What are the clues that let you know it's Greek? Like CH. If CH in a Greek word, what is CH going to say? Like in school, in scholar, in Christmas, and Christ, and Christian. Yeah. If CH says k, it's Greek, that's just the way it is. If CH says it's plain old ch sound, it's Old English, like chin. Okay? Just plain. If it says sh, like in chef, chalet, it's French, because the French people are fancy, and they have fancy words. And like the, the plain colors, like red and blue, Old English. But chartreuse is French. <laughs> you know, the fancy words are French. Lingerie, you know, fancy words about fashion. Those are French. And it's a lot better when you know that. Do you think? I mean, when you're reading, it's like, oh, you have an appreciation of what you're reading, and it's just in your head. And it's... Our, our kids with dyslexia are so brilliantly smart, it is not hard to know this stuff. What's hard to know maybe is those little phonemes. They might be harder to get, but you can still get them too with teaching it the right way. But it doesn't come as easy. But this, I mean, they can learn stories forever, right? I mean, isn't that kind of the truth? Stories, are, it, and so it all makes reading better. Um, this is just another book. I don't think I put it on there, so you might want to write, Google foldables. So what are you able to do with a foldable? You're able to fold. These are great. I, I've just discovered this. In fact, it was Mary Stowe who taught me about foldables. Sam's wife. I've told Mary that I should get... I should get continuing education units just for being with Mary because <laughs> she teaches me so much and she is wonderful. Um, foldables. And so it's all about, it's going to give you, like, if you take paper, I wish I'd brought some of my foldables with me. You take paper, you might make a, a pyramid. You know, your students make a pyramid and on, you have three sides to write on if you're writing the three purposes of something. Or if it's, you know, if it's the eight purposes of something or if you're reading a I should have brought them, but it gives you all the directions. You just, it's just ways, you can pass this around. You just, you know, if you just take paper, you might fold it in eight pieces and you write eight things, or you cut it, you know, you make, you make a book. It's just all about, it's so, it's very wonderful. And that is so good for compre reading comprehension for anything you're doing. I mean, oh, studying sure. history, you know, so that's all very good. Now, Okay, I want, gosh, I've got so many, what I love to do, if you, if you notice, you can go to Sam's or Costco and buy just a whole big box of playing cards and then just put name tags on them. Okay, that's what I do. And so I've just made millions of these things, just, but, just, but it really works well. And, and it's just more fun to play with a real card, you know, with cards. What I would do with this, like I have some words that end with like, that are uh, adjectives that are describing words like federal, um, constitutional. If, if the suffix has al on the end, it's an adjective describing something, and or artificial. And I would just I just have tons of words like this, um, ineluctable, which I hope nobody knows. Did you say they're in a family, or how could you say well, the words related? I guess you could say it's a family. I'm like, it might be a good idea. I like families. I do a lot with families. That it, you know, that this family, if it ends with all, is going to be a describing word, and that's a family of adjectives. Yeah, you could. And then I have in here, like, okay, and I have like, okay, I have something like etymologist, I-S-T. Then I would, this stack, it has some people words and some just plain old adjective words. Okay, like entomologist. If you have I-S-T, like artist, it's a person, biologist. Um, 